Hello Pisces, so this is your mid-month reading. I'm going to start with um, the general messages. This reading is also going to have love, career, finance messages, and all signs. So let's start with the general messages and see what's going on. Let's just turn on the mic. Okay, universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Pisces for the rest of this month? Okay, I got these three cards want to come out. Alright, universe, give me a big card spread the messages you have for Pisces for the rest of this month. Universe, give me one more card. Okay, so there's imagination, love, guilt, and then abundance and fear. Okay, so I feel like with the top row, um, things are happening for you. Things that you always dreamt of. It's finally happening, okay? But you may feel like some people are not happy for you or you may feel like some people are not at your level of success and you probably don't want to, you know, just talk about your accomplishment because you may feel like they may feel away, okay? Um, then there is bless. Then there's co-create, lawyer heart, and chaos and conflict, okay? So even though there might have been things that was... So even though there might be things that was chaotic for you i still see you guys was able to bounce back and still accomplish the big things okay so we got imagination and bless okay so i feel like you guys was focused on what you wanted and it happened then there's love and co-create some of you guys um this could be a launch of a business or this could be you um being pregnant having a new a new baby okay then there's guilt and lower heart i don't see what that's about and then there is abundance, fear, and chaos, and conflict, okay? So let's look at guilt. Universe, clarify guilt. Humor. Universe, clarify lower heart. Truth be told. Universe, clarify truth be told. It's changing one. Okay. Okay. This could be like you getting everything that you want ever since you disconnected from someone, okay? And probably when you disconnected with this from this person, this person was going through something, but they probably was not there for you when you needed them, okay? I don't feel like you guys are feeling guilty about that, okay? So that's some scene here. Let's look at the other deck. I wanna go to the love messages. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Pisces for the rest of this month? Universe, give me three more cards. Got a lot of cards. Universe, give me a four card spread and messages that you have for Pisces for the rest of this month. Universe, give me two more cards. What message do you have for Pisces for the rest of this month?
Okay. So first position, there is barrel. You feel like something is lacking in your life, perhaps love of money or goals. And then there is at work achievement success. I don't feel like that's you. I feel like you guys fill your own cup. I feel like whoever you love, that's how they was feeling, okay? Um, then there is peacock, beware of Greek pride. And then there is hand and need of help and sisters and guidance. But also I'm getting here, um, whoever doubted you, they're going to be coming to you for you to help them <laughs> okay let's look what else um hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally then there's sun happiness and well-being yes yeah, so you are feeling very fulfilled feeling good okay and then there is hat do you be playing a different role okay september rainbow the most difficult part of the situation is over look at that so i feel like this is good karma you put in the hard work you pay your dues and good things are happening for you guys okay then there's haystack karma you reap what you have sown yep this is good karma and then there is caterpillar things will not always be this way change is coming beautiful change okay so that's good so let's look at love So, universe, give me a five card spread. What's going to happen with Pisces Love Life for the rest of this month? So, there is a page of Pentacles. Then, we've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone is wanting to apologize, like send you an apology. Okay. Um, again, this could be someone who doubted you. Okay, they're coming back around. You're avoiding them. Universe, what's going to happen with Pisces Love Life? Three of Wands, King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, um, you know that this person was going to bite their words. Okay, they were going to eat all of their words. <laughs> okay, this could have been someone who was prioritizing someone else or comparing you to someone else. And karma came through. <laughs> okay, and now they want to reconnect with you. Universe, cut by page of pentacles. Heavy earth sign towards very Capricorn. Universe, cut by page of pentacles. Universe, cut by page of pentacles. Page of Wands in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and Eight of Swords. Okay, so this is someone who got Black Hat is like knock off the throne. So this is someone who probably had a big ego. Okay, they probably thought like you know it was very easy to replace you. That's not the case. Okay, now they're going through something, especially financially. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe cut by the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Cups. Universe cut by Seven of Cups. Six of Cups, Universe Club by Six of Cups. So they're going to be very perplexed that you're not going to be allowing this person back in your life. Okay. And it could be because of patterns. Probably this is an on and off connection. Okay. Or it could just been their ego. So Universe clarify the Tower in reverse. The Knight of Swords and the Strength card. You've been avoiding this person. I feel like you're probably going to speak to them. But you're not going to allow this person back in your space. Universe, cup of nice swords and the strength card. Okay, five of wands in verse ten of wands. Yeah, you're probably going to communicate with them, but I don't, I don't see you guys allowing them back in your space. Universe, clarify the six of swords in reverse. Universe, clarify the six of swords in reverse. The hangman. They're stuck on you. Universe, clarify the hangman. Universe cup of the hangman. Universe cup of the hangman. That's seven pentacles. Magician inverse. Yeah, whoever they were trying to deal with, whoever they tried to move on with, it just did not work. Okay. Universe cup by three of wands. The death card and the three of swords. I feel like this is karma. Karma come to them. And then this card wanna come out, the fool in reverse. Nothing good happened to them, especially when it comes to love. And now it's showing finances as well, okay? So that's their karma. The universe clarify the king of pentacles in reverse. The judgment in reverse. The ten of pentacles, okay? 
Universe, talk about Ten Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Universe. Talk about Ace of Swords, Universe. Ace of Pentacles. Universe, talk about Ace of Pentacles. What is this about? Temperance, Universe. Yeah, that could be them. That could be them trying to offer you a relationship, being committed now, okay? But you don't want to deal with them, <laughs> okay? So. Heavy Earth and Heavy Air, okay? So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Um, Aquarius reading was similar to this a couple videos ago, okay? So it could have been Aquarius or someone who have Aquarius in a chart. So let's see what else I'm getting. Let's look here. Okay, so you know, guys, give me a big card spread and messages you have for Pisces when it comes to their love life for the rest of this month. So there is rigid, there is trap, then there is um, a reminder and high priestess of Earth Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so probably this person is going to try to guilt trip you or talk about what's going on in their life, like how horrible things went for them. But I feel like with that reminder, you you remembering how they treated you, okay? So I don't feel like it, the guilt tripping or feeling pity for them is going to really work, okay? So let's look at career finances. First, give me a four cards. Five. What's going to happen with um, Pisces' career for the rest of this month? Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me three more cards. Okay. Okay. So, Jenna energy. It's time to give rather than take. New Moon and Virgo. Then there is overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Um, and meditate and contemplate Newman and Pisces. Vast festas, expand your horizons. Then there is confidence in your key success, Newman and Leo. And then there is have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon, and gates of traffic success expands in your life. Okay, so I got two main messages. So the first message that I got here, um, a lot of you guys master something when it comes to your career. And now the universe want you to think bigger. Think bigger, challenge yourself, or take on more challenges, okay? Because that's going to definitely help you um, in this phase, okay? And then also for those who just started a business, I feel like we're trying to say it, success is there. It's going to happen. Um, some of you guys just started since Leo season. Some of you guys are going to start this Virgo season. Some of you guys, it could have been since Pisces season, okay? But success is there. It's just trying to say, believe, okay? Be confident. And just be consistent, okay? Consistently improving what needs to be improved, okay? So let's look at finances. Let's see here. Okay, so universe, give me a three card spread. What's going to happen with Pisces finances for the rest of this month? Universe, give me two more cards. Okay. So this could apply to the masculine um, Pisces. Um, probably you guys have child support. Probably is going to increase. That's what I'm getting here. Also, what I'm getting generally for both masculine and feminine. Um, there might be there might be unexpected expenses that might be popping up. Okay, especially for business owners. This could be like tax related, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Universe Cup I give. Also I'm getting a refund too. Like probably you pay a lot for something and they're gonna give you a refund for labor. 
I see also a promotion at work where you're getting a big commission. Yeah, getting a big commission. Universe cover imprisonment. Or there is a, like expenses regarding unexpected expenses regarding family. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing too. Universe cover and coffin. Marriage. Universe cover and marriage. Message with status. Also, I'm getting here. This is Mercury retrograde. So there might be old bills coming back. And you thought you'd been take care of that. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. So finances, I don't see you're struggling. I see like you are going to get promoted or get a pay raise or something like that or a big commission. It's just that there might be some unexpected expenses that might pop up. Okay, so let's look at the all signs now. We're going to be starting with Aries. All right, so universe, what's going to happen with Pisces and Aries? Got a lot of cards. Hangman and water. They're still stuck on you. This person might have a moon in Pisces as well. They can't get over you or replace you. Okay. So universe, what's going to happen with Pisces and Aries? So wedge, someone, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So they don't want you to move on like I'm doing here. They want you to be stuck on them like how they stuck on you. The universe is going to happen with Pisces and Aries. So there is dark man dealing a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Okay. So I feel like it could be that this person could be negative here. Let's look at um, Taurus. Okay. So anything that is going to happen with Pisces and Taurus. We got codependency in reverse. So you're breaking free from a codependent connection. Okay. This could have been a relationship where people don't know your business. Everything appeared good, but it's really not good. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Taurus. Key successful outcome to your problems. Or it could be showing this issue. So it's a little different message. Another message I'm getting here is like working out the differences and bringing back the harmony. The universe is going to happen. I, psychability, trust your intuition. It was tough by I, my road, you on a road to success. Okay, so it can go both ways. I feel like for a majority of you guys, you're getting free from a codependent Taurus, okay? Um, a lot of people didn't know exactly what was going on between you and the Taurus, but it probably was very toxic. But you're breaking free. This person is going to try to see how they can come back, okay? Because they see that you are successfully going to check out emotionally. So they try to see how you guys can still have these bonds. Okay. Let's look at Gemini. Okay, universe is going to happen with Pisces and Gemini. Single fast all you need is water so you're breaking free from a gemini you're healing as well you're seeing things exactly for what it is universe is going to happen with pisces and gemini so there is club someone will try to make you do something that's your will this person could have been very calculated as well okay universe is going to happen with pisces and a gemini Oops. all right let's see So tank tar celebration, fun, enjoyment, and chain chain events that will affect your life. Ooh, interesting. Universe cut by tank tar and chain. Rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Arrow, you're on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. So yeah, if, if you feel like it's best for you to disconnect, is okay. June. Probably something happened during June and affairs with family. Something probably happened. Universe cut by June and tree. Purse, pay attention to your finances. Okay, probably this person was stealing from you or probably this person was undermining you somehow, some way. So you've seen things exactly for what it is. Okay, let's look at, um, what's sign? Cancer. All 
All right, so you know what's going to happen. Oops. What's going to happen with Pisces and Cancer? New direction, you're probably going to be meeting with a new Cancer. Okay, universe is going to happen with Pisces and Cancer. It's got a lot of cards. Okay, wishbone, a wish be granted. March, you probably March Pisces. October, you're going to be meeting with a new Pisces, I see. Okay, horse, short journey, fair man, dealing relationship with a man with blonde or gray white hair. Fair woman, dealing relationship with a woman with blonde or gray white hair. I feel like this is like a match. And an egg, you might get pregnant by this person. You might have a family with this person too. Egg, success is shared with good plans and hard work. Yeah, so that's good. So I feel like this is a new a new cancer and it works now what else i'm getting is could be like you guys working out the differences okay getting to the root of the problem and then camel preserving you will overcome problems yeah i'm getting that too so let's look at let's look at leo Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Leo. Got a lot of cards. So happy home, temperance, Capricorn, Earth, and the Hermit. Okay. Let's see what it's about. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Leo. What's going to happen with Pisces and Leo? Okay. So there is draw a close up pleasure with a close friend. And then tulip great passion okay so you guys might be in, a, in a, a relationship with a leo so you guys are in a new relationship since leo season as well i see that it's going to have a lot of potential here a lot of but just someone who's going to be showing you that they care about you the capricorn earth vibes then i got the hermit they're not going to be very um they're not going to be codependent okay valley deep Personal strength, peace, and that's your success. Yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna feel like a calm type of love. It's not gonna be like head over heels, but those type of relationships tend to not last even when when it comes to that. So I feel like this it's sure that this um, relationship have um, great potential of being long term. Okay, so let's look at Virgo. All right, universe is going to happen with Pisces and Virgo. So stay focused, my right sided, Ace of Cups and Earth, okay? So a new Virgo is coming your way. So new energy keep popping up, okay, for the all sign. With the tarot, it was more showing someone who regret things and they're getting karma and they're eating their words. But with the all signs, it's showing new, okay, new people. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Virgo. So there is does pay attention to work okay so you might meet this person at work there's someone at work that have a secret crush on you who's a probably a virgo apple temptation will test you yeah so i'm getting work um mixing business with pleasure okay so let's look at libra what is going to happen with pisces and libra Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Libra. Universe is going to happen. So there is High Priestess. Fear is what makes you question it. The Fool and then Ace of Cups. Damn, it keeps showing these new energies. So, um, yeah, your energy. They will want you to take a chance with them. But you may feel like you shouldn't. Okay, we got your intuition here. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Libra. For us, metal unclear thinking. Yeah, see, you don't really trust this. Okay, then we got Tame Tire Celebration, Fun Enjoyment, Caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. But also I'm getting here, you might meet this person at a, um, a party. So I, wanna, I wanna say work party. So it could be at a work party um, or a work event, like, you know, those conference. Let's see, Let's see what's going on. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to randomly meet this person. Not randomly, but you was not expecting <laughs> like to meet a love interest here. So 
So there is worth, sorrow over loss. Then there is I, page, um, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Yeah, I see that with the high priestess and the psychic. And then scissor, disappointment and some affair. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so your intuition is going to tell you like, uh, not really the one. Okay. So it tends to say a new Libra could be like a short term type of connection. Okay. But it's trying to definitely trust your intuition of like how you feel, like how you may feel this person can be, like their characteristics. Let's look at Scorpio. So like universe, what's going to happen with Pisces and Scorpio? Okay, we got Pisces. So that means you're gonna have the power in this connection. The Scorpio is gonna be more um, in, in love with you or more infatuated with you universe is going to happen with Pisces and Scorpio dog close up a pledge with a close friend you might friend zone them or this could be a friend universe is going to happen with Pisces and Scorpio what's going to happen with Pisces and Scorpio okay at work and achievement success so this person's not gonna let you go they're gonna want to be more than just friends Okay, they want to be in a relationship, so they're gonna be more into you. Let's look at Sagittarius. Then the first is going to happen with Pisces and Sag. That happy home. This could be like working out the differences. Let's see what it's about. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Sagittarius. Vase, a secret admirer. Okay, it's talking about someone new. So this um, Sagittarius will want to be in a relationship. They want to have their own family. Um, they're tired of being a bachelor or a bachelorette. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Sagittarius. Okay, purse. Pay attention to your finances. Also, this person could be going through something. So probably now they're looking at like, they're looking at like, they're putting more value onto being in a relationship because they feel like they're better if they be in a relationship financially. So now they're putting more value to it. So this person might not have peer intentions. Universe, clarify purse. Apple. Yeah, it's getting, that's weird. So I was thinking about um, apple pie. <laughs> so temptation would test you. So yeah, this person don't have peer intentions. They're thinking that they're ready because they're not ready. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. I feel like they're trying to be in a relationship now because they feel like it's smarter for them to be in a relationship. Okay, but in their head, they're thinking like they are. Okay, they're ready, but no. Okay, so let's look at Capricorn. So universe is going to happen with Pisces and Capricorn. We got a lot of cards. So there is the codependency. We got low fortune, money opportunity. Um, the middle way, the line between opposite extremes. I feel like there's going to be a new Capricorn that is going to come to you and they're going to test you. This is going to be an alpha type of Capricorn for the feminine um, Pisces. They're going to be a protective provider, okay? But the thing with them, they might be financially abusive, okay? So if you experienced that before, you might be thrown a test, okay? Then I got your Okay, let's see. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Capricorn. Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Capricorn. Rainbow. The most difficult part of the situation is over and bad. Something important such as a new job or career. Okay, here it doesn't look too bad. I, I was feeling something different intuitively than what the cards are pulling. The cards are pulling that you are going to be connecting with someone who is... Um, no, but I got a codependency. So the cards is pulling some energy like that too. So there's someone who's going to be a Capricorn. Um... They still need to work on themselves. They still need to work on their shadow. Because I feel like their shadow is about control. And always appearing like they're in a top position, masculine. So this could be someone who, when they was growing up, their family was, um, was you know, um, poor. Or um, this person, especially a masculine Capricorn, 
had to feel like they had to be the head of household at a young age. Okay, so they still need to work on that because in relationship, they tend to be the controlling type and like to use finances as a way to control as well. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. Not really bad, um, but not good. <laughs> Um, I feel like they just still need to work on themselves. So they're probably not ready to be in a relationship. They still need to address those problems. Now, let's look at Aquarius. Okay. So universe is going to happen with Pisces and Aquarius. So there is air. Okay. So that's ironic. <laughs> okay. So you guys are going to love talking to each other. That's what else I'm getting. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Aquarius. Okay, so there is historic a news of a birth or a new business opportunity. So a new Aquarius, probably. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Aquarius. Okay. Crib, a birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Yeah, so you are going to be meeting with the new Aquarius. This Aquarius is going to be talking about family, the how they want to have a baby, and all that. <laughs> so, and then we'll talk about business a lot or education a lot. So, let's look at um, Pisces and Pisces. Yeah, universe is going to happen with Pisces and Pisces. Okay, we got no matter what happens outside myself, I know that I'm safe, and we got Virgo. Okay, so Virgo is the opposite sign of Pisces. So there might be some opposition between you and a fellow Pisces. Um, it could be starting now, since we're in Virgo season. Universe is going to happen with Pisces and Pisces. So Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. Okay, they want to make you do something or they're doing something risky and you don't like that. Okay, so there is opposition. Okay, universe is going to happen with Pisces and Pisces. Rat, someone is working against you behind your back. Yeah, so don't trust them. They might want you to do something financially or with a business or something. Don't. They're doing something shady. I don't feel like this is only with a lover. This could be a family member as well. So that's the reading that I have for you, Pisces. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, so you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortetarot at gmail.com.